orientated towards something. If you're not, then well, you're just spinning around in circles, and then you suffer, and so do the people around you, and so do the people around you. Orientate yourself towards something. You have to figure out what it is. What goal would justify the suffering of this enlistment? What goal would justify the suffering of this enlistment? You have to find an answer to this question. It's easy to forget why you joined the Marine Corps in the first place. It's easy to forget why you joined the Marine Corps in the first place. It's a lack of motivation. Well, you might ask, how do I rekindle this motivation? What are the processes? So I would say, I think, what I've recommended to people is, clean up your seven times. Clean up your seven time. Clean up your seven time. Clean up your seven time. You'll know what to do next. Take your truck to the wash rack. Don't be the one to try and check in a dirty vehicle. Don't be the one, don't be the one, don't be the one to try and check in a dirty vehicle. Know your vehicle like you know yourself. Know what you're loading up. Know what working party you're on, but do not overextend yourself. Do not overextend yourself. After all, you are driving. Too much rest isn't enough rest. Too much rest isn't enough rest. You have to ask yourself, is my fuel tank three quarters of the way full? Do I have enough ratchet straps? Did I remember to chalk block my tire? Am I a shitbag marine? Am I a shitbag marine? Whatever the answer to these questions may be, I have a suggestion. Clean up your seven ton. 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 You'll know what to do next. Utilize your aid driver. He could help you clean up your seven ton. I mean, come on, he's just sitting there, right? He may guide you on the ground. But do not let him guide the integrity of your seven ton. But do not let him guide the integrity of your seven ton. You're in control of your seven ton as much as you're in control of your life. You and your seven ton are one half of the same whole. You and your seven ton are one half of the same whole. You don't want the check engine light flashing on your life. Take control of your seven ton and take control of your life. Clean up your seven ton. 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 You'll know what to do next. Stop lying to yourself. Motor T does not care about your seven ton. Stop telling yourself these things you know to be falsehoods. Your truck may have been in the maintenance bay, yes, but you know they didn't work on it. Of course they didn't change the oil. You have to take the time to go to the motor pool and check the fluids yourself. Orientate yourself into this mindset. Check the tire pressure. Check the brake lights. Make sure the horn works. Build a routine around your 7 ton and embrace it as a part of your life. And embrace it as a part of your life. Seven ton. Clean up your seven ton. Clean up your seven ton. Clean up your seven ton. You'll know what to do next. Hey, Devil Dog, you have a seven ton. Most people throughout Marine Corps history have not had a seven ton. You do. Yeah, but seven ton's a piece of shit, though. Well, you're the shit bag polluting it, and you should do something about that. Well, put it in minimal order. Wipe down the windows. You have to be able to see through those. Organize your road gear. You're gonna need it in an emergency. Put it in minimal order. Just clean it up a bit. See if you can do it. Clear out any trash. Sweep out the bed if you have to. Maybe you can make it beautiful. Clean up your seven ton. Clean up your seven ton. Seven times. Clean up your seven times.
clean up your seventh time, you'll know what to do next. Yeah, your vehicle's pretty filthy. You're gonna need to take that back to the wash rack. <laughs>